Hello, and welcome to Our Devotions, where together we're developing lives with God at the center. I'm Pastor Daniel, this is my amazing wife, Pastor Amanda. Hello, today we're going to talk about how to handle anger, starting off in the book of Proverbs. So grab your Bible and get ready to jump right in with us. I think the other day we talked about Psalms 119 is my favorite or most impactful chapter. Yep. Book. I think Proverbs shaped so much of, of my life. As a kid, my, my parents gave the kind of this challenge that, hey, there's 31 chapters in Proverbs and there's 30 to 31 days a month. Yep. So they said, read a chapter a day. And it was a really easy spot for me to read as a kid, especially if my reading comprehension wasn't through the roof <laughs> because yeah. you didn't have to track with all of it because there were so many like little nuggets. If you could make it through two verses, you could have something impactful and powerful. Yeah. And then you'd keep reading and, and maybe you'd grab another one that day, but it became so, so huge because Proverbs has the most practical advice. And in time, one of the, the best things that I did was I got some different pens and a, I ended up with a color pencil. I started with different highlighters, but this is a multicolor pencil and a multicolor pen and just started going, what does the Bible say about issues that I have? And as a child, anger was one of those issues. So I started marking whatever the Bible had to say about anger. And so throughout my, my Bible, if you look in Proverbs, you'll find a little red asterisk a lot in the book of Proverbs. But you want to start with chapter 12, verse 16. The arrogant fool's anger is quickly known because he lacks self-control and common sense, but a prudent man ignores an insult. Uh, as a kid, that one I think really hit home. And so I'm like, wait a second. The, the fool shows his anger at once. And one of the things that you'll see in Proverbs a lot is it'll show you this is how a fool handles a situation and this is how a wise person handles yep. the situation. And then you get to like take the mirror and go, which one looks like me? Yeah. And <laughs> And if you don't like what you see, it's just like when you wake up and you walk in front of the mirror and you don't like what you see. Then you blow your nose or you like... Yeah, brush your hair. Brush your hair. Like you, you make some adjustments. Yep. And so I begin to read and go, okay, hey, so I just put a red asterisk next to this going, all right, the fool shows his anger at once, but the wise person ignores an insult. And then chapter 14, verse 17. A quick-tempered man acts foolishly and without self-control, and a man of wicked schemes is hated. And verse 29 says, Whoever is slow to anger has great understanding, but he who has a hasty temper exalts folly. And like, there starts to be this pattern yeah. that keeps coming up of going, oh, the fool it shows his annoyance right away. The yeah. fool takes offense. The fool hollers. The fool. And I looked at a bunch of these, and I'm like, I don't want to be a fool. Right. And you're like, but some of these characteristics describe my behavior. Yeah. And so then you're like, all right, well, I want to be a wise person. Well, what does the wise person do? Well, the wise person doesn't take offense. Well, the wise person uh, turns away and is cautious rather than, um, than blurting this out. Yep. Slow to anger. Yeah. And then chapter 15, verse 1 says, a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Am I, am I, am I giving soft words or am I stirring up the anger. And then, oh, wow, there's just so many of these. Chapter 16, verse 32. And I can just page through and be like, red asterisks, red asterisks, and like, yeah. and find them. And that's something I actually did. I went through the whole book of Proverbs, yep. marked it, and then went back and looked at every spot yep. just that had an asterisk and made a list because this was, this is where I needed help. Yeah. Well, and I feel like we've ex suggested this to many people who are dealing with anger. And when they've taken the time to go through Proverbs themselves and to see all that it has to say about anger and what they should do instead, we've seen their lives change drastically in ways where they were so easy to anger and got lost their temper so much that now they're very self-controlled because that's the power of the word of God. It's there to change us. Yeah, I love it. Uh, can you read chapter 16, verse 32? He who is slow to anger is better and more honorable than the mighty soldier. He who rules and controls his own spirit than he who captures a city. I think that one was really powerful for me because as a kid, even as you watch movies and they would uh, 
they would honor the man that nobody wanted to mess with. Yeah. And so as a young boy, that became part of the goal of like, hey, what is manhood? It's when people respect you and wouldn't want to cross you. And then as I began to read Proverbs, I'm going, oh, no, just not wanting to be crossed or wanting to be feared isn't what makes somebody a man. That makes someone selfish, a bully, a villain, like a lot of these different things. But I'm like, what the Bible says is that this person who controls their temper is greater. And it, it changed the target. It changed what I wanted to be and be marked by. Yeah. And the Bible calls that renewing the mind. Yep. It says, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so this shifted my target. This began to shape then how I would respond. And I want to invite you to go through Proverbs, take a month or two and read one chapter a day. And if you've got some different areas of your life or as you're reading it, you spot one and you're like, oh, yeah, that doesn't look like me. Uh, yeah. Start marking that topic. I have, uh, like Proverbs looks like a coloring book in my Bible because there's just so many different topics yeah. <laughs> that come up and different ones that I deal with that I'm like, oh, hey, I want to know about how to have a good heart. I want to know about wisdom. I want to know um, how to receive correction and, and the list just goes on. Yeah. But if we will take this and we will read through and apply it, it will impact and change us. Yeah, so good and so powerful. Well, let's say our confessions together. My prayers are powerful and effective. My prayers are powerful and effective. I live generously. I live generously. Overflowing with God's love. Overflowing with God's in love. In all I do. In all I do. I am filled with the fruit of the Spirit. I am filled with the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace. Love, joy, peace. Patience, kindness, goodness. Patience, kindness, goodness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I stand in prayer. I stand in prayer. To see God's will done. To see God's will done. On earth as it is in heaven. On earth as it is in heaven. My words are powerful. My words are powerful. And they will bring healing and life. They will bring healing and life. I use my words to partner with God. I use my words to partner with God. I speak intentionally. I speak intentionally. To create the future I want to see. To create the future I want to see. I take every thought captive. I take every thought captive. And make them obey God. And make them obey God. God, I thank you that your word can change us and can transform us, that it does a work inside our heart if we let it. God, I pray that we would be doers of the word, that you would open up our eyes to see wonderful things in your word and help give us the grace and the strength to apply your word to our lives. And I ask that we could reflect you more clearly to the world. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us. We hope this encouraged you. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. And we invite you into God's word for yourself so you, you can discover who he is and what he has for you. Be blessed. We'll see you again soon.